Hey, it's Neil from Level 10 Interactive, and today we're talking about best practices for meta titles. Well, I've had about three years of experience doing SEO, and I've learned through a lot of the blogs that I've read, as well as a lot of the forums that I've been involved in, that a meta title is actually one of the most important parts of your website in order to get highly ranked in Google but there's a specific way that you should go about utilizing your meta title now first off on the most basic level you do want your keywords in your meta title but there are certain things that you should avoid I will give you a couple examples in a moment but let me talk a little bit more about the meta title now meta information in general consists of a meta title meta description and meta keywords today we're only talking about the meta title there's a few parts to the meta title and there's a few parts that google finds most important first off at the very beginning of your title whatever you have at the most very start of your title is what google considers is is that what you're telling google is the most important about your site so you want you get you want you get your keywords early in that title now I'd like to give you a quick example of a client we have that deals in foundation repair. Now, foundation repair is sort of like when your house, if you own a house, does a little shifting because of um, the you know the earth below it or whatnot. There may be cracks. Um, I will give you a little example, real quick. Foundation repair. Repair. Okay, I misspelled that, but that's okay. Google's fixing it. Now, of all these listings, as you can see, the words foundation repair are very early in the title. They're also sometimes repeated in the title, although that's not the best way to do things. If you want Google to see your site as being relevant and you as not being a spammer, you need to have your keywords early in the title, but not too often. I can show you in a little bit some examples of people that have gone wrong and have been penalized because they've mentioned their keywords too often in the title. But our client, one of our clients that has done quite well on a local level and even on a national level is right here. Powerjack Foundation Repair. Now Powerjack Foundation Repair is actually just called Powerjack but as a nice little a little tweak that we used for this title was we made the words their actual keywords foundation repair a part of their title a part of their business name and the best way you can look at this is sort of like an algebraic formula you put your keywords at the very beginning of the title and then whatever words follow that work very well with those keywords for example foundation repair Dallas a foundation repair Fort Worth, foundation repair Texas, foundation repair homes or home foundation repair. So as you can see this shows up on a national level at position 9 but I, you can also see that it shows up very high for foundation repair Fort Worth which is actually where they're located. So that's going to be the most relevant place for their website to show up when people are searching for it. So as you can see, Google has already gone ahead and bolded the words Foundation Repair for Worth. Now you don't want to get overzealous and repeat your keywords in your title because Google has a filter for that. They're very smart, they've been around for over 10 years, and they realize that there are certain people out there that are trying to manipulate the system. So they have learned that the people that are trying to manipulate the system use the words over and over again in their title. I'll show you an example of that in one moment. So as you can see, they're very high on Foundation Repair Fort Worth. They're also very high on Foundation Repair Dallas. Although they're not actually located in Dallas, they're close enough and they do serve Dallas and it's in the title. So they do appear high with that. Now one example of someone 
who is who has actually used their keywords too often. As you can see, I've typed in the words laser hair removal Dallas. Now the results, these are 21 through 30. So this is number 26. We have the words laser hair removal of Dallas, Texas, laser hair removal in Dallas, Texas, and as the domain name, laserhairremoval.com slash Dallas underscore Texas. Now, why would Google decide to place them as number 26 if they seem to me the most relevant, if they have their keywords in there the most often? That's because they're too obvious. They look like they're trying too hard. Like an ex-girlfriend. You know, you, you, gotta, you gotta be careful. You, you can't seem like you're trying too hard. A search engine is very much like that. Also, Google, you know, a lot of a lot plays in the part with backlinks and offsite SEO. So, that's a few little lessons on best practices for your meta title today. And I hope you keep coming back. I appreciate your time. Have a good day.